everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Romney and I make fashion and aesthetic videos today we are doing dark academia fall outfits which I'm very excited for because this is like the most popular aesthetic for the fall so it is just like the best one to put together outfits for so I hope this gives you some inspo on what you want to wear this fall fall has already started it is already October when I'm filming this so a lot of these are good for October and November and I realized depending on the climate you live in fall is just completely different so I wanted to incorporate some warmer outfits as well as some cooler outfits so you will see both in this video but yeah go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel before we get into it but before we get started with all of that I'm very excited for today's sponsor which is book of the month if you clicked on this video, I can automatically assume that you love all things dark academia, and with that, you're probably a huge bookworm like myself. Book of the Month is an online subscription-based service. I've been using it for a while now, and I'm so excited to share it with you all today. The way it works is you pick out a different book to read every month. They make it easy for you by already curating a selection of new books from new and emerging authors, and all you have to do is pick out your favorite every month. It takes the stress out of trying to find out what book you want to read next and can help you explore different genres outside of your comfort zone. I'm currently reading The X Hex by Erin Sterling. This book is such a fun one, especially for the month of October. It's about witches, so I was automatically drawn to it. It starts when the main character Vivian accidentally curses her ex-boyfriend with what she thought was more of a joke and a non-serious curse ended up being deadly and problematic to the entire city, putting everyone's powers at risk. The other books on this month's picks include The Lincoln Highway, The Apple Never Falls, which is a special add-on for this month, The Book of Magic by Alice Hoffman, which is also an add-on for this month, and I'm especially excited to read this one around Halloween time for obvious reasons, Everything We Didn't Say by Nicole Bart, Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead, and The Perishing by Natasha Dion. This one is set in the 1930s, so I would definitely look forward to that one as well. Another thing I love about this service is that you also are emerged with a community of people on the internet reading the same books as you. They tend to be the most trending books on book talk and are always being talked about on my favorite bookstagram accounts. So by following the link in my bio, you can get your first book for just $9.99 using the code BOO. I really hope you guys enjoy this service as much as I do and remember you can cancel or skip at any time so it is really risk free. Please, if you do try it, you must let me know which book you choose so we can have a little mini book club in the comments. Thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video, and without further ado, let's get into these fall outfits. Okay, outfit number one. I am sorry that you can't see my full body right now. I will show you my shoes in a second, um, but the lighting is just really weird when the camera's too far away, and it's also kind of hard to hear me, so I just wanted to try this out for this video, but if there's one thing I like in an outfit is it to be balanced, so I am wearing this more modern blazer paired with this vintage top that I thrifted over the weekend, which I'm obsessed with it. Like, it is everything I could want in a vintage white blouse. It has the puff sleeves. It has this gorgeous lacy material right here. And then I pearl paired my pearl necklace with my cameo necklace as well underneath. Then I have like a more modern pleated skirt with a vintage frilly sock with a more modern loafer so one of the things i love to do with the dark academia style is to kind of mix modern and vintage styles together to make a uniquer looking outfit so it's kind of what i did here and to go with it i would just carry my little baguette bag or any tote honestly there's a lot of different bags that could go with this outfit um but yeah that's the outfit um let's move on to the next one okay next outfit First of all, I'm obsessed with these trousers. I have literally been wearing them like almost every single day at some point because they're so comfortable. It's like wearing just like slacks or like sweatpants or something. Um, and they're perfect for fall. They're from Princess Polly, by the way. But I wore my platform Mary Janes with them because they are a little bit long, so I kind of need some height there. And then just this basic beige turtleneck. Love these for layering. So I put my plaid blazer over on top which is way too small for me i need to get another blazer as you can see like the arm is like cutting off my circulation this brown leather bag from echo suzy vintage one of my favorite bags to carry in the fall um yeah pretty much it i feel like this is like super simple but also just like wearable and easy to put together and i feel like a lot of people have a variation of this outfit in their closet so yeah 
Okay, this outfit is very cozy and looks a lot warmer than it is because I layered a turtleneck underneath. I have the black tights, which are a staple for fall because you can still wear your short skirts without being too cold, depending on where you live. Um, my black loafers and then this cardigan jacket type thing I thrifted over the weekend. Um, it was only $5. I love it. I think the sleeves are really cute and I love this little collar detail and it matches my beret perfectly. I always love matching my berets to my outfit. I feel like it just always pulls the whole thing together. Um, vintage leather bag. Uh, let's see what this looks like buttoned up. I feel like that would also be pretty cute. Yeah, so that's pretty cute as well. Again, this is one of those outfits that doesn't look like a lot of layers, but I'm literally sweating in it because everything just feels so thick. But yeah, moving on to the next outfit. Okay, I honestly love this outfit. It might be one of my favorites in this video, um, mostly because I love a good vest, and I recently thrifted this one on eBay. I just think it's one of the coolest vests that I own. Reminds me of like a dark academia professor kind of a vibe. Um, I got it, yeah, like I said, from eBay. The brand is vintage Jemmy Abel. Um, cameo necklace, white button up, which I forgot to button up and then this skirt I wear all the time from Princess Polly it's like one of my go-to's um, Mary Jane's again I promise I'll change my shoes at some point and then my bag from Echo Suzy Vintage this is one of those outfits you could put tights underneath a layer a jacket over on top and it's better for cold weather or you could take off the layers like I'm wearing it and wear it in warmer fall climates so yeah, let's move on to the next one. So a white button-up blouse with a black vest over on top is always a go-to for me. I feel like it just always looks really good and put together. And it's perfect for the dark academia aesthetic, so that is what I'm wearing. Uh, the vest is thrifted, the top is from Lulu's. I'm wearing the same pants that I wore a little bit ago with my platform Mary Jane's. Um, I also paired this vintage letter bag over on top as well. And you could easily throw a jacket over on top of an outfit like this, like a blazer or a trench coat. I feel like you do a lot of different things, but personally, for me where I live, I would not need one of those for a while. Like I said, I'm trying to incorporate different climates and take that into account. So yeah, I feel like this is just a really simple, easy go-to outfit. Okay, next outfit is another vest, shocker. Um, I thrifted this one in my last thrift with me video, so you might recognize it. The brand is Carol Little. I got it from ThreadUp. Um, I paired my black tights to give this outfit some more warmth, um, and my black loafers as well. Um, just a basic black mini skirt, really good versatile thing to have. And then my black turtleneck underneath. I feel like turtlenecks are a great way to warm up an outfit if you don't want to wear a jacket. Even though you could easily pair a jacket with an outfit like this, I just feel like turtlenecks are so suffocating, so those are great for cold weather. Um, I mean, I guess I wouldn't know since I don't live in cold weather, but when I do experience cold weather, I always bring a turtleneck with me. Um, yeah, little mini baguette bag. Again, any bag would work with an outfit like this. I just really like this vest. Like, the embroidery is everything. I think it's so freaking cute. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's only so much you can say about a singular outfit, so let's move on to the next one next outfit is super comfy and casual i feel like this would be the perfect thing to wear to an apple orchard apple orchard orchid apple orchard or a pumpkin patch or something like that um so yeah canvas bag i love these they're superior the superior thing to carry your items in plaid pants are a must for fall always which I have my Dark Academia Fall Clothing Essentials video. I will link it down below. A um, little sweater. I wish this wasn't so cropped. I don't know why. It, just, it kind of annoys me. Um, and then a little collared shirt underneath. A uh, cameo necklace. Yeah. Comfy, casual. That is the name of the game. I feel like this outfit is perfect for like school or work or any kind of casual type event that you may go to um, just because it's super cozy and comfortable which is kind of been my number one thing lately um, i'm wearing the same plaid pants loafers you can wear boots or anything i was just honestly too lazy to change my shoes um, so any kind of boot would be super cute with this outfit as well collared shirt underneath this like sweatshirt type thing if it's really cozy cold you can layer a coat over something like this um 
bag Echo Suzy Vintage. It also turns into a backpack, so something like that is also great for school. This is giving me Dark Academia, Harry Potter vibes, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, it's getting darker outside, so I had to change the lighting a little bit. I hope it's not too weird, but this is an outfit for a colder climate. Even though I'm wearing a skirt, I feel like the layer of the trench coat and the longer boots helps with a cooler environment as well as the beret. Um, so what do we have going on here? We have a basic white button up with a vest. Like I said earlier, this is one of my favorite go-to combos. Um, this plaid pleated, it's not plaid, it's just pleated. This pleated skirt is thrifted off of eBay, but the brand is Old Navy. Cameo necklace, boots are from ASOS, I think bag is vintage um so this is just what the outfit looks like without the coat still looks really cute if you're in a warmer climate like myself vest is also vintage this trench coat i believe is from lulu's it's like it's like a year old so i'm not sure if it's still available but if it is i'll link it down below um yeah overall just a cute basic dark academia look i feel like this is super chic as well i could also just like close it up all the way i kind of like my trench coats open most of the time though so moving on to the next outfit okay i just wanted to show a more casual version of the outfit that i just showed so basically we're working with the same base outfit which is the collared shirt the plaid skirt and the boots i took the vest off and then took the trench coat off and just added this uh, basic leather jacket and then swap the leather bag for my canvas bag and I feel like this is a maybe more wearable look for some people depending on what you like but again it's something good for like school or work or anywhere like that but I like giving alternative options to a specific outfit to show that many things can be styled in multiple different ways so that's what this is. I honestly think I like this outfit more than the last one. I don't know why I just feel like it's it's cool and casual and it looks like it looks low effort, even though it was it's kind of a lot. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay, this one is for like a warmer weather fall. So I love orange and black together, especially for October. I definitely want to wear this to like a pumpkin patch or something like that. Um, so we have the canvas bag, cute, casual, lightweight. Um, this dress, I literally forgot that I had it. I found it in the back of my closet because it's so old. Um, but I like layering with it because it has the color peeking through. Um, and then I just layered this like orangish brown sweater vest over on top to give it that October feel. Um, and then just some platform Chelsea boot type thing going on down here. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy to put together. If you have any collar dresses, I definitely recommend layering a sweater vest over on top. It just completes the look. So I wear this dress like all the time. It's probably one of my most worn things in my closet. And I thought adding this like lace cardigan over on top would give it like a different vibe. And it definitely did. It's kind of giving me like a witchy October vibe. I don't know why. Let me know if you see that too. I could make a whole video about outfits that give me witchy vibes because I feel like that is my style for October. Um, but I styled this with Mary Jane's and my vintage letter bag and I'm wearing the same cameo necklace that I've been wearing this entire video because I've been too lazy to swap it out. Yeah, that's the outfit. I honestly really like this. It's super simple. You could put tights, add a coat over top and make it good for a colder climate as well. Okay, I know I already wore these pants like three times already, but they truly are like my most worn pants for the last like three years and I'm obsessed with them so I had to include them in another outfit. Um, just paired a sweater with a collared shirt underneath. Super basic but a great comfy go-to for fall. Um, vintage bag, platform Mary Janes. Pretty basic outfit but honestly just something that is super easy to put together and I feel like everyone has a variation of something like this. It just takes comfy sweater, collared shirt, your favorite pair of pants, your favorite bag, and your favorite pair of shoes, and you have this outfit. Um, I think we only have like a few more outfits left in this video, so let's 
get right into those. So this outfit also gives me a very like witchy October vibe, so it's perfect. I feel like a long black skirt is also an essential for dark academia fall, especially if you put tights underneath, underneath add some boots, it could be really cool for cold weather or for warmer weather it still works because it's nice and flowy. Um, I layered my vest with this floral top that I thrifted, cameo necklace, and my vintage leather bag. Um, yeah, I just feel very like ethereal and witchy and this is a super comfortable outfit as well. This would be a great outfit to wear to like a museum or some kind of Oktoberfest or fall festival. I mean, basically like any of these outfits would be good for events like that, but yeah, let's move on to the very last outfit. Okay, last outfit, I wanted to do something never before seen for me, which is incorporate a pop of color into my outfits, which I always seemingly forget to do. Like, I know I like neutral outfits, but I still do like color, but it just like doesn't even pass my mind to incorporate color sometimes, especially when I'm doing dark academia. But you can still wear color if you are styling the dark academia aesthetic, especially for October because you can incorporate like the oranges and reds into your wardrobe a little bit more. Um, so I'm wearing this like ruffle red top. It is freaking adorable. I thrifted it over the weekend. I'm obsessed. It's giving me kind of like a vampire academia vibe, which is really cute. Um, I should make a whole video about that too. Uh, black mini skirt, tights, Mary Janes. Pretty basic setup, but I feel like it's still effective. If you could wear this, I could even just like totally close the jacket up and be mysterious dark academia. But yeah, that is all of the outfits for today's video. Finally completed. All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some inspo for your fall outfits. Um, let me know which outfit was your favorite. Um, I love coming up with new outfits for videos like this and incorporating the same pieces into different outfits. I will try to link everything down below that I'm wearing. However, like I said, a lot of this stuff is just thrifted or like old, like I've had it in my closet for a long time and it's not available anymore kind of a thing, but hopefully it still gives you inspo and I will link anything that happens to be available down below as I always do. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you are not already. I post a ton more outfit inspo and aesthetic things over there. That's kind of where I do the most on right now, but I also have Pinterest and TikTok if you want to follow me on there as well. I will link that down below. Of course, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!